Just move stuff around a little. Alright, looks like we're good. I'm going to start a new game as a survivor. This intro always just like, it always gets to me. Alrighty. Well, we're going to be doing this with a new update, obviously. Well, a new update. It's been out for a long time. The only one that I haven't played yet is actually the Survivor for the new update. Yeah, I already know how to play the game, thank you. Already beat it on, like, every mode. Just had a hankering to play again is all it is. Yes, I'm hungry, I understand. Hey, man. Worm man. All right, although it has been a long time, I don't quite recall which one is best to go to. I want to say it's one of these over here that's usually better. Uh, okay, not so much this place. That leads directly to the first hibernation spot. So we want to actually go in here and gain some food. And that although they look like blue mangoes, they are actually bug pupa. <laughs> it's a little grody. Just a little. Just a little bit. Not too grody. Just a little. Okay, turn around, please. Thank you. Hey, Tailport, what's up, dude? What's new in Rain World? Um, I just felt like playing it, like, really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just... So, I, I played, you know, I've played the Survivor, which is this guy, twice. And I've played the Hunter once, and I've played the Monk once. And I just figured, you know what? I haven't seen all the monsters yet. All, all the new monsters, like the new critters that they've added to the game. So now would be a good time to, uh, to do it, because I just, I kind of felt like playing Rain World. Come here, you dang stupid. Hey! There we go. Get in my belly. Okay. Off we go. Now he's going to want us to go hibernate. So there are a lot of Horrible, horrible creatures <laughs> they've added to the game. I think the ones that I haven't really seen uh, very much of are the, um, oh, hell, uh, the giant spiders. So I think in order to see them, I need to go to the Shaded Citadel, the Farm Arrays, and I believe it's called the Subterranean. Yeah, I think it's Subterranean. Um, so, the giant spiders, there's, like, there's two kinds. There's one that has a venomous bite that slows you down, uh, and eventually it just jumps on you and eats you. Uh, there's another one that fires, like, these poisonous quills that paralyze you. If I remember right, they're supposed to paralyze you. But like I said, I haven't actually seen all of them yet. Um... 
and let's see, there's also... This is one of the things, though, you can't just, like, I can't just talk about the the enemies, I guess is what you would call them, that are in the game. There's so much more to it. Uh, come here, you. They've added a lot of both. I mean, this, this is some time ago that they added all this stuff. But uh, they've also added, like, new things that you can use in the environment, like um, these things that I've been calling the Fart of Darkness, which is basically, oh, you jerk bags, bat. Uh... It's um, like a little squid thing that you throw it and like it creates a, a gas cloud that uh, oh my god come on get up there there we go uh, it creates a gas cloud that obscures you um, but uh, so you know what Let, let's let's talk about some of the enemies first so I don't remember where this goes. So some of the other things they've added, they added this thing called the drop wig, which is like a thing for my nightmares. Um, I don't think there's actually anything else for us to do here, is there? No, this is just all back towards the same place that I don't really have any interest in going to. Okay. Oh, no, that was a spear. Um, so the drop wig, it, it basically looks like a giant earwig that does exactly what it sounds like. It, it waits up on the ceilings and then drops upon you and eats you. Uh, they've also added a new vulture... And again, I'm saying new, but it's stuff that's been in the game for a little while. I just haven't uh, experienced everything yet. I have experienced the Vulture. The new Vulture is... <sighs> I mean, I've been referring to it as the Harpy for a while, because it, it, it's it got, like, a harpoon face. <laughs> so, uh, just... oh, Calling it the Harpy made sense to me. Okay, this is not where we want to be. Go back. Ah! Okay, you know what? We're fine. Greeny has left us, so we're good. Uh, let's see. So what are some of the other crazy critters that they've added? I know there's more. Oh! Oh, noodle flies. Noodle flies are strange critters. Oh, I can see a whole bunch of them. You know what? I, probably, I can probably see a bunch of the map because I've already played through the game a bunch of times, but that wouldn't make a ton of sense, because this is a brand new file. Oh! I missed. Uh, so, noodle flies, like, I've... They're, they're a little weird because I'm not really... Well, they're weird to me anyway, because I'm not really sure what their... Their behavior is really based on, I guess is how I'd put it. Uh... Sometimes they just kind of attack you at random, it seems. Now, that may not be entirely true, but that's that's been my experience, is that sometimes they just get angry at you and follow you around and stab you. <laughs> uh, but they always get angry if you eat one of their children. So, not highly recommended to eat their children unless you're starving. Except that they are very nourishing. So, you know... Maybe don't do that. Maybe do it. Yeah. Um, they also made some gameplay improvements as well. At least as far as I'm, I'm concerned, they're gameplay improvements. Uh, where do I want to go here? I think I want to go left. But yeah, I just... I, I really just felt like... Oh, you jerk bag... Well, you know, the nice thing about the greenies, about the green lizards, is that they're, oh, they're not super horribly aggressive. <laughs> uh, unlike the reds and the pinks and the purples and the oranges and the blues and the, well, I guess the white lizards aren't super aggressive. They're just jerks. Oh. Yeah, get wrecked. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps I can make friends with a greenie. Eh, eh, if I could drop this off the edge. Oh! No, 
put it down. Put it down. Greenie, hey. Hey, Greenie. Wait, did I eat? I haven't eaten. I need to eat. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you going to eat that, that red lizard? Or that, that pink, red, whatever? Oh, the greenie's up there. And now the, the, the pinky is coming after me. Did you eat the other one? Mm. Oh, no. I may have doomed myself. Eat, eat the pinky. Eat the pinky. No, no. Climb it. Climb. Climb, you fool. I don't... Oh, they did also add a new lizard. Or wait. Uh, oh, no. They did actually add a new lizard. They added um, a... Uh, like a like a leopard lizard. It's like... Um, it's black and it has like these kind of neon green circles on it, I guess is how you would call it. Uh, and it can jump very far. Actually, we should go listen to Worm Dude. To our overseer. And see exactly where... Oh, there's the food. Okay. Is this a good idea? This might be a horrible idea, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Oh, I see you. Come here. Okay. I, have... I know they've added more than what I'm letting on right now, and I just can't... Th oh, they added some strange just weird things into the into the game like uh there's these beehive things that if you throw specific items at them the bees calm down but if they don't calm down then they just like go bonkers and try to trap you in some horrible trash <laughs> uh i know there's a way to get up there i just don't remember what it is like there's an easy way to get up there i just do not remember what it is Get it. There we go. Uh, no, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go up this way. Yeah? Yeah, but then how do I do the other part? No! You know what? Give me this. No, not that. Here we go. Here's hoping. I can make the leap of faith. Hey! Oh, no. Okay. Leap of Faith is, uh, failed. So, how do I want to pull this? I always seem to forget the easiest way to do this every time I come here. Okay. No! <laughs> I screwed it up once more. No, not that. Oh! Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, there we go. Now let's go re let I almost said reest, like rest and eat. Somehow at the same time. Wait a minute, where are you telling me to go? See now, the thing is, I know there's another place that I can rest out this way, so this is the way I'm gonna go. Wait, uh, wait a minute. This should bring us to the industrial complex. Which is far easier than the drainage system. The drainage system is a nightmare. Because <laughs> there are camo snail, uh, camo snails, camo lizards. Wait, camo? Wait a minute. No. Are there camo lizards? No, no. There's the, the white lizards, the, like the salamanders. Uh, okay. It's nice to see that this place still exists here. The, this this resty place, because I, if I'm right, I think it's on the hunter. This doesn't exist. Yeah, I think it's on the hunter. This doesn't exist. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I think we were talking about some of the new stuff. Yeah. 
I, I, don't, I don't recall exactly what we're going on about, or what I was going on about. All right, the things that were in the drainage system. Uh, there's the the white lizards. There's the 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 evil kelp. There's the snails, and also obstacles that just make life a living hell. Like in general, just make life a living hell. Give me popcorn. Give me. All right, excellent. Give me that. Now let's go. Now, I'm not actually trying to speedrun this. I'm more just trying to get to specific places. I suppose I could head towards the farm arrays early if I wanted to really get to the subterranean, but uh, I don't know. I think sh the Shaded Citadel might be... I don't want to say easier. Why did I go this way? Why did I go this way? Where'd you food? Uh, you know what? Drop down. I don't remember what's over this way. I think this is inside. Yeah, this is inside. I, I also don't know if the, the super crazy vultures exist in, um, in this mode. I, they might only exist in hunter mode. I haven't actually played as the survivor since the update. I've only played as the hunter and the monk. What would you uh, What would you gain by going to the farm arrays early? Um, mainly just the ability to see possibly some of the new monsters, some of them, not all of them. Um, that's really it. That That's one of the things about this game that I really like is that there's no, like, there's going to a particular place early doesn't really get you anything, except for going to visit. Um, Moon and well, actually, no. Getting visiting Moon doesn't really get you anything, uh, but visiting five pebbles early gets you something. Visiting five pebbles early gets you the mark, which makes you glow. Well, I guess actually, what gets you the ability to glow is when you eat a neuron. But when you talk to five pebbles, he gives you the mark that allows you to understand the language. So that allows you to kind of go and see Big Sister Moon. And understand what she's saying. There's, there's no like gameplay improvement per se, but there are things that you can get in specific places that you can't get anywhere else. Like, uh, what's a good example? Um, the the little squid dudes you can't really get anywhere other than I think farm arrays and shore <gasps> shoreline. That was Purple Lizard. That was Purple Lizard, and we aren't going to mess with it. We're going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it alone. Is that one of the whole premises of this game that I absolutely adore is that they, they didn't want it to be like a standard Metroidvania where it's like you go to places to get upgrades so that you don't fear things that you, can, that you encounter later. You are always at the same position in the food chain that you've always been, and that position will never go up or down. Nothing makes you so powerful that you can just ignore the food chain, I guess is how I would put it. Uh, I think we want to go to... The sh garbage Wastes? I think we want to go to Garbage Wastes. Hey, can you not do what you're doing? Thank you. Like if I come over here and like pick this up. Okay, thank you. Glad you didn't... Okay. I might I might have screwed myself. I think I might have screwed myself. Um... Hey, could you... Not do what you're doing? Oh, no. Okay. We're good. <laughs> um... I forget how the heck you get down there. You can't... Oh, that's how. Right, so you're going to be a jerk and prevent me from going where I want to go. So in that case, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this. Wait for you to come up, because you are going to come up, I think. Yeah? No? You're going to sit down there and big big old jerk face? Yeah, keep, keep, keep being bad at climbing. Keep being bad at climbing. 
Uh-huh. Good job. Thank you. All right. I want to say we go this way to get to... Uh, hmm. I should grab that pearl. I should grab that pearl because there are going to be scavengers that I'm going to have to pay to pass. And there they are. <laughs> All right. Well, time to drop my weapons. Because I don't want them to freak out and try to kill me. Hi. Yeah, I'm nice. Please don't hurt me. Um, oh, right. I have to go the other way if I want to get back up. Okay. So, here we go. The other nice thing is that uh, I believe that in this mode I will be able to get more of the... There's like these little... Oh. These little nodes. Oh! Hey, please don't throw bricks. Here, take it. Take it. Oh, I'm out. No, leave me alone. I've given you a pearl. Please. Do not make me deceased. Oh. Don't. Don't do it. Yee yee. No, 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 no. I have done nothing wrong. Do not shoot me with your spears. I believe this is the one I want. Oh, it's a fart of darkness. Hey, buddy. I didn't think you were anywhere but, like... In very specific places. Uh, I think this is where I want to go. Hey, snail. Yeah, see, you're going to be a jerk, and I don't like that, so go away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Far to darkness, you're coming with me. I don't know if you'll survive this, but we'll have to see. I'm hoping he survives. I don't actually know what uh, what the official name for this critter is. Farted Darkness is just my pet name for it. All right, so we got one more tick towards Survivor. Oh, Farted Darkness is still alive. All right, so I'm going to try to show you what Farted Darkness does. Although, truth be told, <laughs> I'm not sure it's the most useful critter in the world, because um, trying to tell us to go to Big Sis Moon, is that it? Or what are, you, what are you trying to tell me here? I always forget the order that you tell me stuff in. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm not sure the Fart of Darkness is the most uh, useful critter in the world, because it also obscures your vision of yourself. Please don't explode. Snails. No, no, no snail explosions, please. All right, I'm going to put the Fart of Darkness down. I'm going to grab these. Uh, that is a blue lizard. That is a blue lizard. Um, uh-huh. Here, I'll show you what Fart of Darkness does. There we go. That's what Fart of Darkness does. <laughs> See, and, and you can't even... Well, no, you can see yourself a little bit. It's hard, but you can see yourself. But now I'm going to eat the Fart of Darkness. And get one little pip of food. Which is really all I need, so uh, maybe I should leave. Yeah, let's leave. <laughs> I was going to eat those little nuts that I threw in the water, but, you know, this blue lizard hunting me, so I don't think that's uh, the most necessary thing in the world right now. Come here, bat. Who's coming through? Oh! No! Please. I've given you a precious pearl. Please just leave me alone. This is the thing with the scavengers, man. You can never tell what they're going to do. There's no there's no real, like, telling what their... Not their motivation, but, like... What it is that they intend. <laughs> uh, man, I cannot... For the life of me, remember which way it is that I gotta go here. Maybe it's this way? Is the map partially filled in? Not really. That's fine. Oh, hey. I should eat you.
Okay. Now, uh, hmm, that little worm right there that's wiggling around, that green thing, I could use that to summon a vulture. But I'm not sure that's what, oh, God. I'm not sure that's what I want to do. That is a pull mimic, which I have no desire to mess with at all. Where the hell am I going? Oh, no, there's centipedes. I mean, these are just the small ones, so that's okay. But, uh, if there's a big one down here, we might be in trouble. Hey, one side, please. Get out of here. There is a big one. Please leave me alone. I'm not eating your children. Please leave me be. Please go away. Yeah, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Uh, I think I have basically lost all side of where I am. <laughs> I want to say I'm going in the right direction, but I really don't know for sure. Er, wait a minute. I think I might be heading towards the Shaded Citadel. Which would be bad. That would be bad. Is that a... What was that that I just saw? Oh! Well, that is an unfortunate turn of events. Yeah, uh huh? Oh, I'm going towards the Shaded Citadel. I don't want to go towards the Shaded Citadel, though. No, don't come up here. Alright, I'm out. See ya. It's Gabby. I'm out. No, please don't. Here, I'm dropping these. Look, I have no weapons. I'm defenseless. Don't throw any spears. We're just going over here for now, just to kind of get the hibernation spot, and that's about it. Uh, wait a minute. Isn't one of these... Like a shortcut to somewhere? I think it might be. Uh, well, not a shortcut to somewhere, but... Uh, I want to say that one of them leads to... Like, one of these little spots that looks like it's disabled, that you can normally go through. Um, like, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how these little areas light up when I walk over them? You can't actually use them. Are you active? No, you're not. Uh, what about you? You're not active, right? No. Okay. Um, sometimes those lead to scavenger dens. And so that's what I was kind of just looking at. Because the map essentially shows you when there is one. Now I know I've gone the wrong way because this leads to the Shaded Citadel and what I want to do is get to the Garbage Wastes. Because if you go... Let's see, if you go Garbage Wastes to the Shoreline and then to Shaded Citadel, you will get to an area where you can actually purchase a lantern from one of the scavenger merchants. And that is what we want to go through the Shaded Citadel because the Shaded Citadel is dark and full of horrors. It's much like the Red Priest say in Game of Thrones. Uh, wait, how much? Okay, we got plenty of time. So let's... Hey, MK, what's up, lady? Let's, uh, let's go semi-plan out our route, I suppose. I think we want to go... Do we want to go through that? I think we want to go through that. So we, we got to make it back to one of our previous hibernation spots if we want to live. Praise the sun to you as well, my friend. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Just want to avoid scavengers because they might try to kill us. Man, I remember when Rain World, the like the, the Rain World devs first kind of announced or showed the scavengers and talked about them. Oh man, it was uh, like simultaneous. Like, oh my god, this is gonna be so cool, and this is also super terrifying. Please no. <laughs> You can't see your sun praising. That's 
Very strange. Huh. Hmm. Maybe there's something I have done weirdly in the uh, in the settings. I'm not sure. I, I'm super new to Twitch, so <laughs> I have to check. Oh, you're greeny. No, please. Okay, that's better. Um, I'm still terrified because I saw a large shadow, and that means bird. That means bird. Please, just let me over. I just want to get over. Oh my god. Please. Oh. Oh. No. Hey. Oh. Okay, see you later. I'm out. Oh, the bird. He's coming. Yep, go play with them. That's fine. No! <laughs> no! Get out of here, you! Hey! Shove off! Bird! Oh! Okay, go back. Oh, there's the perp. Okay. I see you, perp pal. I'm not messing with you. So don't mess with me, please. Uh, how am I going to pull this? I see you. You know what? I think I just got to murder you. Hey. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, how about you drop me? No, he's not. He's not going to. He's not going to drop me. All right. So at least we kept our survivor. Our ranks towards survivor, I should say, but that does mean that I need to get another plant. If I can, hey, stop that! If I can find one, which maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe if you put a period first. I don't know. I don't know how Twitch emotes even work. Okay, drop that. Grab this. Do that. Don't fall. Whatever you do, don't fall. Okay. Let's go get ourselves some food. And then hopefully get the crap out of here. And back towards where it is that we actually want to be. I also recall back when uh, the devs were first talking about the, the first, like, major update. And uh, they they said, hey, you guys, you know, are saying that the game is too easy, so how about some porcupine spiders? And then had the the giant spider things... Oh, I made it. Okay. Uh, had a preview of what the giant spider things were going to look like. And, of course, a lot of people were like, ha-ha, Rain World. You know, that that's really funny, but also please don't. And they were like, oh, you think we're kidding? <laughs> and... Oh, camo lizard. Well, I'm glad you fell to your maybe death. Where's it that I need to go here? I need to go... Oh, I need to go down. That is extremely unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. I hope that I don't have to deal with this camel lizard. Nope, because he's, uh, he's messing with the scavs. Alright, good for you. Good on you. Hey, get me down. Thanks. I think this might mean I actually have to go back, back past the centipedes again, which uh, is oh, kind of bad. Uh, well, there's three kinds of spiders. You've got the shadow spiders that turn into coalescipedes, which are also terrifying. Um, you've got the... I, I want to say the... Oh, Jesus. I want to say the giant spiders that just bite you are in... Shaded Citadel and Farmer Rays. Oh, hell no. Please, no. Uh, I think the spitty ones are only in the Farmer Rays. I think that the bitey ones are in... 
Um, oh my lord. I think the bitey ones are in Shaded Citadel, Farmer Rays, and maybe some other places. It, it's it's weird because there are some there are some monsters that only appear in certain places, and there are some that tend to appear in many places. Like scavengers can show up in a whole bunch of different places. I am and that is evil and horrible, and I'm going to stab it. Yeah, get stabbed. No. Okay, well we have to wait it out. <laughs> um, I have only seen them in the Shaded Citadel so far. I think they may also exist in in Chimney Canopy and Sky Island. I think. Maybe. It's possible. Nah. Nope. Get juked. Yeah, get juked. Go fast. Fast. Okay. Potential disaster averted. I mean, this game is deadly enough as is. Okay, where do I want to go now? Uh, down? Yes, down. Okay, that's good. Let's do that. Er, wait. How much time do we have left in the day? I gotta check. Um, no, we got a good amount of time. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, it's a scabby place. Okay, put down that. Grab yourself a pearl and eat it. Good job. Um, grab that. Good job. All right. Now let's go. Okay, so that wasn't exactly what I thought it was, but that's all right. What about that central one? Is that a thing that I want? Not the central one, the other one. Wait, did I... Am I losing my mind? I'm losing my mind. Okay, well, let's... Hmm. <laughs> let's go... Hibernate. Which is... If I can... Okay, you know what? There. If I can go... No, I want the central one if I'm going to hibernate. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Please, no stab. No stab. My lord, these people were the dang honking. Oh. Okay. So, part of the reason that I don't want to go to the Shaded Citadel right now is that um, I don't have... Excuse me. Thank you. I don't have anything that will light up the the area, so going there wouldn't even really allow me to see anything. Um, which also means you guys wouldn't be able to see anything either. Um, if I can get to five pebbles and need a neuron, that works. Or if I can get to the Shaded Citadel via the uh, oh, jeez. Shoreline. That will also work. Oh, here's an option for the for the for the sun praising. Here's an option for the sun praising. Instead of, uh, is that backslash? I always forget which direction the slashes are, but the, the slash that you have for Solaire's left... I guess it would be Solaire's right arm for him, but his left for... Or the left <laughs> the left side arm for us, what I believe would be his right arm. Um, like, keep the first things, but then as the last part, put an underscore, and that way it's make contact. Please leave me alone. Scavenger, I saw you. Please leave me be. Same thing with you guys. Dang snails. Man, that's weird. It, it's got to be something that's just, like... I don't want to say it's, like, unique to Twitch, but, like, it, it's, it's got to be something with Twitch. Dang it. I can't get that. All right. Well, we've eaten enough to survive. We're good. Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, if you figure it out, let me know, because uh, I am also interested to know. All right, so if I go up here, I think this will get us to where we want to be, maybe. <sighs> Drop this, because I would like to eat some bats, if at all possible. Oh my god, the sirens. Hey, bats. Hey, bats. Yeah. No, come here. Come here. Gotcha. No, I didn't get you. Did I get you? I did. Ooh. Okay. Get down with your bad self. Get yourself some debris. So you can stun a lizard if it happens. <laughs> you are not an old lady. Right, if you saw me at work sometimes, you'd be like, how is this person, like, <laughs> first off, how is this person employed? <laughs> and second, I don't think you'd ever feel old when it comes to computers ever again. Oh, geez, no. Okay, well, this is not untenable, but it's, uh, it's not good. Ooh! No! Get away from me! Please eat it. Yes, good job. Now leave. Bird. Bird, leave. Bird. 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 Oh my god. Bird, why? You've nearly killed me, bird. You've nearly killed me. Oh no. Hey, could you just not? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, eat him. Thank you. We're good. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, my God. Why? Hey, leave me be, please. Go down. Go down your hole. Dude, you're just trying to screw me so bad. Oh, my God, and you're succeeding. No! Oh. That is, that is a dead bat. That's what that is. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, my God. No! No, 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 no. No! Oh, no! <laughs> you son of a bitch bird. <laughs> Damn it! Well, at least we got our... Or what you call it. Our flower prevented us from losing our progress. Uh, get me out, please. Thank you. At least now we know which direction we're going. Alright, do I want to bother with this fruit, or nut, whatever? I think the answer is yes. They are a little more labor-intensive, but I think they're going to be worth it. I've done wrong. Okay. Well. Listen, you jerkbag snail. Stop that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't drown. Okay, where did the, where did the little pods go? Okay, there's one. Where did the others go? Oh, there, okay, there's the other one. It's suspended in this waterfall. Let's get this food. And I want to go this way. Yes, yes. This way and then up. 
Yes. New. No! Oh my god. <laughs> I think the amount of mass that was in that tube forced me out like it was a geyser. Your presence here upsets me greatly, purple lizard. Oh, run. No. Okay, well, um, I think I'm boned. <laughs> ah! Nope, okay, go, 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 go. Wait, did Teleport just figure out how to do the, the praise? Because I gotta say, I'm seeing what you guys are putting down. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, greeny. You're supposed to be my friend. Be my friend. Be nice. Del says you're nice. And I believe her. Okay, put that down, because we don't need it. Unless a greenie shows up, or a purple. Or some other kind of ferocious lizard that's going to try to eat our faces. Eat this quickly. I saw the bird. I saw the bird. Flee. Okay. So is the chat delay okay for you guys? Like, the stream doesn't seem to be super behind or anything? I know Tealport, yesterday you said the quality was, uh, was still pretty good. Are you still experiencing decent quality? Oh yeah. All right, so we got our first achievement, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, so now we can do fast travel. But I don't want to do fast travel yet. Because uh, I think we actually have to have visited the location before the fast travel will actually function. So right now it won't do us any good. Ah, garbage worms. Hey, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, soaking some edibles. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. So these garbage worms, they're not new, but uh, they're interesting because they're like the only pacifist creature in this game. They will take your weapons away from you. I come to think of it, I don't know if they'll actually like try to harass you really bad. Okay, is, is the delay, like, uh, kind of less, less than or equivalent to what was on YouTube, or no? I mean, as far as you can tell. Because I, I know that Twitch has a delay, I just don't know what it is. I want to say it's like a... I, I think I have it set so that there's like a two-second delay before you guys see your, your own chat messages. Alright, let's hibernate here just so we can save our progress. Now let's see, if we only eat fruity things, as in non, non meaty things, we would. Okay, we got the one. Oh, right. The wanderer. Okay. Really? Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That makes me happy. It also makes me think that maybe we'll just use this as our streaming platform from here on out, but I'm not really sure. I mean, obviously, at least for the foreseeable future, I'll have to. No leeches! Oh! Please, go away. Leave me be. Bad leech. Hey guys, don't, uh, don't try to take anything from me, okay? I'm a good slug cat. I promise, I'm nice. Except when it comes to worms that are edible, because I need to eat. Uh. Eat, 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 eat
Did you? Doesn't they give one? I thought they gave two. Okay. Eat. Good job. Alright, grab that. Uh, might as well grab you. This might be a mistake. <laughs> this direction that I'm going, this could be a mistake. No, no, wrong way. Alright, snail, don't mess with me, please. Get in there. Thank you. Up. Okay. And we are currently full on Yeah, we've we've got our we've got our flower on, so we're good. Wait, the worm is dead. It is drowned. Is that a spear? It is. Oh, glorious. Um, hmm. I can get up this, can't I? Dang it. I, I'm almost certain there's a way to get... Oh, oh up this. Oh, jeez. All right, you know what? Just, just chuck the spear. Get rid of the brick. Keep the uh, keep the food. Go in here. Hibernate to save your progress. But no, I'm, I'm glad that there seems to be at least less of a delay. That makes me happy. Oh my god. I just realized, apparently Twitch measures your broadcast length in minutes instead of seconds, like on YouTube, which is a little telling. People, I think, on Twitch tend to stream for a much longer period of time than I'm used to. Like, eight, nine hours at a time instead of two or three or four. No, that's fine. We don't, we don't have to do that. The saint. The saint. Oh, we have to spend time without stabbing things with a spear. Right, that's what the saint is. The monk is the one where you don't eat meat. The saint is the one where you don't stab. And then the hunter is the one where you only eat meaty things. I believe. Alright. Get a spear, because apparently there's a bunch of them. Actually, I'm now finding myself wondering what the speedrunners... Like, what, what uh, pathway the speedrunners tend to take in this game. I'll have, maybe I'll have to look it up. Maybe this, this might be one of the only games that I would ever actually try speedrunning. How much food do I have? Two? Although, I'm not really sure... Well, no, this game probably... Do, it, I, I was about to say, I don't think this game really is conducive to speedrunning, but that's... I don't think that's entirely true. Yeah, I don't think that's entirely true. You would. Alright, I don't really care about the nut anymore. Oh! What in the world is going on over there? Hey, centipede. Get eaten. <laughs> Stop harassing that poor fly. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. I've never seen that happen before. That is... That is a mimic. Yes, it is. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No. Bad mimic. God. That might be one of the more terrifying enemies in this game, is the, the pole mimic. Just because, like, it looks like it's nothing. And then suddenly it's this giant barbed horror that, like... Tries to eat your face. <laughs> that last time, MK, I just saw two slashes. Or wait, is that back? I can never remember which slash is which, but it, it's the the slash at the top is pointing to the left. That's all I saw. <laughs> A few, but none of them with standard praise the sun. Some are missing arms. Others have sprouted additional ones. Oh, okay, so even eating... Okay, eating meat was also... Yeah. And there's a 
way to get up there. I just don't know what it is. That's right. They, one of the other new things that they added was uh, bubble grass to allow you to breathe underwater for a short time, which in my experience with the monk was oh so nice. Uh, oh no, that's wrong. I didn't want that. Go back. Or do I? I see the centipedes. I want to eat you. Okay. We got one. That's fine. We don't need to eat another one, but I will keep it in mind for later. Wait, do I have the pearl? I do. Okay. Now, keep in mind, if at some point we actually get to the point where I can have, like, emotes and stuff, I will absolutely have Praise the Sun as one of them. In fact, that may be one of the first ones if we ever get to that point. I don't know what the conditions are other than, you know, needing, like, a certain amount of subscribers. You have to... Oh, no! No, 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 Hey, hey, bugger off. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let me out of here. Yeah, go play with that. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> He's still coming. Oh, Jesus. Flee. Ooh. Okay. Um, how do I get to the other side, though? Do I get to the other side? Oh, jeez. Okay. I want to go down. Get this. Oh, God, it's coming. Too many birds. Far too many birds. Hey, are one of you uh, dead? Are there two of you or just one? That that bird better not come through here, I swear. No, I trust thee. Uh... Wait, so are you guys saying you're not seeing each other's... Sun praisings? Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look into that. Oh, wait a minute. Do I know where this is? I think I do. I think I do. I've never gotten here this way, though. Uh, that is the bee swarm that... No, no, no! Get away! Get off of me! No! <laughs> I've been stuck! No, get off of me! Drop the spear. Leave it alone. Drop the spear. Okay. Go. Away. Please. Scavengers, leave me be. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Don't come in here. That's really weird. Oh, go away. <laughs> that is really weird. That is really, really weird. All right, we didn't get progress towards anything else. I didn't think we would. <sighs> Hi. Please don't stab me to death. Please, thank you. Okay, goodbye. Now, I just want to come on out here and get some food there, pal. So if you would uh, not mind, like, leaving me alone while I stuff my face with popcorn, that would be really appreciated. I think if you right-click on your name, you can change uh, your chat color. I think. Is this the way I want to go? I think this is the way I want to go. Although, if this is leading towards the scavenger den, then I... This is leading towards scavs. I don't remember what's below us. 
No, actually, come to think of it, I think I do remember what's below us, and it's uh, Goopy Horrors. Is it Goopy Horrors? I All right, I need to know. Is it Goopy Horrors that are below us? No. Not necessarily. That's right, we're going to see Goopy Horrors probably soon enough. Oh my lord, the motorcycles. Uh. I have to say, looking at some of the stuff that Twitch offers... Okay. I'm not going to screw with you. Oh, he killed my dude. He's going at... He's got it. He's got the eyeball. Does he have the eyeball? No, he doesn't. The eyeball's down there. Now he has the eyeball. Crap. Hey, buddy. That's yours. No? You don't want it? Okay, well, it's mine now. Uh, I'm going to come and uh, give you some pearls in a sec. <laughs> Alright. I'm hoping he will relinquish his overseer eyeball that he just picked up. Eventually, I would like to, I would like to give that to Moon. Even though I've already done so in previous games... Oh my god, it's a meat boy. <laughs> okay, go slow. Throw them both pearls. Yeah, uh huh You're now happy with this, yes? And you will not harm us? Is this correct? Please do not harm me. Please do not harm me. I may not be your king yet. But eventually I will be. So, you know, just keep that in mind, scavengers. Is that a spear back there? Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Leave it alone. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. I don't need any food, so uh, we're in luck. No garbage room is going to be mad at us. We'd have to be careful over here, though, because, from what I recall, when I was here on the Hunter, there was a drop wig. They came down... From the sky like a meteor. Uh, I don't see a drop wig. Doesn't mean it's not here. Doesn't mean it's not here. Okay. Very good. Let's go. Oh, there's so many of you. Yeah. Oh. No, no. Please don't be mad. I promise I'm nice. Oh, no. Hey, so that scavenger, I can't help but notice, is getting eaten by leeches. Um, also, that squid fly. Hey, come here so I can uh, please stop throwing things at me. Um, sort of. Each, th th right now there are three different slug cats. This one is the survivor, which is like normal difficulty. Then you've got the, oh god, no. Then you've got the monk, which is the yellow one, which is uh, easy mode. And then you have the hunter, which is hard mode. Uh, and they all have kind of their own stories. So like the survivor is the one that first... Yeah, that throw was very impressive. I have to at least commend the the uh, uh, the scavenger on on its its arm. <laughs> um, so the survivor is the one that that's, that initially gets lost. The monk is the one that comes to look for him, and the hunter, I think, is the one that was genetically created by another iterator to help out Big Sister Moon. Which may, that may make absolutely no sense to anybody <laughs> but me. But... Wait, do I still have the... I do still have the pearl, don't I? Yes, I do. You know what? I think I only have to pay them once. So I'll save the other pearl for the next ones. Um, and... The, uh, let's see. 
So the thing about the, that play, okay, so there's not always a ton of scavengers, but they do come in big groups uh, because they have like little clans and they also have their own social structures and uh, like they, they all, all the groups will have a leader. Um, I've been told that there's a way to tell which one it is, but I have yet to notice. Okay, yes, take that pearl. So the reason there's a bunch of them right here is because this is a scavenger toll. So they're like, hey, pay us to get by. And if you don't, they kill you. Like, this guy right now is making me nervous with his movements and that spear. And the scavengers will actually get mad at you if you are, like, aggressive towards them. Or are, like, super crazy and start jumping around like a madman. Or start jumping on them. They will get mad at you and kill you. Uh, likewise, the same goes for a lot of other animals in, in this game and in this world. Uh, they all have their own personalities and attitudes, which is, it, it's just, it's one of those things that they did in Rain World that, like, made me want this game so badly. And it, the, the fact that it actually delivered on everything that they promised is kind of unbelievable. <laughs> really, like, I, I really can't stress how amazing the devs did with this game. Uh, but, like, you can also... You know those lizards that you've seen me running away from? You can befriend them by feeding them or saving them from death. Oh! Okay, please. Okay, eat this. Hey, squid. Skater, please. Come here. Yeah, I got you. Okay, jump. Thank you. Ooh. The reason I'm using the squid skate is if you look in the water, nope, there's a bunch of leeches. I have absolutely no desire to experience leech them. No, we're beginning leeched. 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 <coughs> Get off of me, you scum. Okay, we can let you go now, but this leech needs to, like, shove off. Someday. Okay, good. Go away. Oh. <sighs> So uh, I, I guess to answer your well, to try to directly answer the question, yes, there are sometimes that many scavengers, but not always. But you usually see at least more than one. Um, if you ever see one, it's probably because the clan got mowed down by, like a vulture or, some like maybe a cyst. Which cysts are, and all these things have some kind of story significance, I should say. Uh, at least the, the cysts do. Um, the Siths are basically... How can I describe it? I guess I have to go into a little bit more detail about the world. There are these beings called Iterators, which are semi-immortal beings that the original inhabitants of this world created to solve... Um, I forget what they referred to it as, but basically it was a problem that all living beings faced on this planet, which was infinite reincarnation, so that nothing can die. And the Iterators were placed here to try to figure out how to stop that. Uh... While the original beings that inhabited, like the, the original sentient beings that inhabited this planet, um, figured out a way to do it for themselves by basically obliterating their bodies and spirits with this stuff called uh, uh, void fluid. Uh, we're already... Yeah, we're already maxed. So, one of the iterators kind of pushed himself to the brink of madness and kind of overdoing it. Uh, the, the iterators are also like semi-biological supercomputers, I guess is how I would I I describe them. Um, and so to flush out a lot of the nastiness in him, uh, he grabbed like a whole bunch of the groundwater from one of the other iterators and flushed out these things called cysts, which are giant living filth octopi. <laughs> uh, I guess is the way I would describe them. That attempt to eat you when they find you. Uh, actually, they attempt to eat just about everything. I think we're about to get another achievement, maybe. Oh. 
No, okay, so this is this little dude, this like worm dude, is what's called an overseer. They're basically the eyes of the iterators because the iterators are all stuck in these they're all stuck in like this little chamber that they call a can. They can't go anywhere, but they have these enormous structures that are dedicated to them, essentially. Okay, so we got another point of the Wanderer, we got some more of the Saint, and we got some more of the Monk. Which is not surprising, considering we didn't really eat anything that was made of meat. And you may be asking, like, okay, well, how the hell do you know any of this? Uh, so, as a slug cat, you can't speak a language. Until you meet one of the iterators who gives you the gift of language. And then you can understand what he says, and also what the only other iterator that you can find in this game says. And when you bring her pearls, the pearls are actually like little data pods. And she can tell you what they say. And so these pearls have information on them. That kind of tells you what the story of the game is. Okay, no, go up, please. Thank you. It's really only in that way and in the difficulty that I would even compare this game at all to, like, a Souls game, is, like, the the way that they present the lore isn't... Like, nobody barks stuff at you, which I very much appreciate. Yes, Five Pebbles End and Moon are both iterators. There's also, uh, if I'm right, the one that... Oh, no. Hey. Uh... Would you mind coming here? Because you're... Oh, okay, jetfish. Here we go. Oh, God, no. Please avoid that with all, at all costs. It's evil and will try to eat us. Right. Okay, that was a miss. Uh, th that is also a miss. Um, the one that created the hunter to attempt to assist Moon is... No... Oh. If I recall correctly, that one is known as Sliver of Straw, but you never see her. She's mentioned in the lore, but she, you never actually end up seeing her at any point. Uh, can I just go down? No, I can't. Um, okay, we've done it. And the reason that... And it's also my theory that... Uh, the slug cats are actually a completely, like, biogenetic, you know, a, a biologically engineered, or biologically engineered, genetically engineered creature that was made specifically for the purpose of trying to figure out how to, like, to, to figure out the solution to this, this question. That food in the water might attract the thing. Yes, indeed. If you, uh, excuse me. Bug pod, please. Thank you. There you go. Little lobster fish, you want to go eat that? And leave me alone, since you jerks tend to try to, like, drown my ass at every every corner. So there's also echoes of the previous inhabitants of this world that you can find. They're like ghosts, almost. Uh, but you can only see them when you have the mark that allows you to understand language or if you have a karma level, which is what this is, at its maximum. Uh, fractals of those uh, trippy computer-generated images associated with chaos theory are actually mathematical graphs of functions churned through a large number of iterate, iteration, yeah, of iterations, where the result of one iteration becomes the initial condition of the next, or something. I'm just throwing that out there. Wait a minute. So it's like, would it be accurate to say that that is like super advanced functions or wait a minute functions is, is functions what i'm thinking of 
where like uh, the equations where you see that it's like um, p parentheses f close parentheses equals blah blah blah. Oh leeches! No! Get off me! Get off me! No! Get off! Get off you fucking jerk fag! Come on! Get off me! You jerk! Get off! Please! Just let me walk over! Let me walk over! Let me walk over! Oh, thank you. Okay. Freaking jerks. Okay. Uh. And it, honestly, what you're saying, MK, oh, is making a lot of sense as to like the, the name iterator, because their their function is basically to like, you know, do humongous calculations over and over and over again. Okay, I got you. Oh, I missed it. Okay, come on, one more time. Oh, oh my God. Yes! Okay, no! Dang it. Okay, we're, we're gonna do this. It's gonna happen. Or, wait. You know what? If he comes around again, I think I have a better idea. <sighs> Please don't tell me that was a leviathan. Please not a leviathan. Okay, no, it's another frogfish. Lobster creature. Oh! oh! Get your breath. Get down. Oh, nope, I screwed it. Yes. Okay, thank God. Okay, we need food. Also, I just want to say, it it's... It's nice to talk to people about smarty pants stuff. <laughs> I'm not trying to say, like, I can't talk to people about smart stuff in, in my daily life, because that's not the case. But, like, it's just, it's not something that happens all the time. Also, I very much like talking to people that are smarter than myself. You jerk. You jerk. No, 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 please. Please. Let me out of this hell. Let me out of this. Out of this hell, please. No. Go away. <laughs> like, it's not something that you always think of as, like, something on Twitch chat, you know what I mean? Like, hey, let's talk about fractals and, like, how it relates to Rain World. <laughs> writing programs that were supposed to create fractals, but they took forever to test because this was 1991 and there was a lot of calculations. The fact that you actually did stuff with Chaos Theory in school is so cool. Oh, I got you. Okay. So because the computing cycles, like, it wasn't going fast enough, or is that, I don't know if that's even the way to put it, but because the, the, computer, the computers weren't fast enough in, 19, in the 90s, it just, like, Took forever, is is what you're saying, right? Man, I, I was actually watching this program with my dad the other night, where they were talking about uh, like using supercomputers for basically curing diseases and stuff. But it, it was a it was a program about microbes, um, like microbes that are in and on your body. And one of the things they were talking about was the relationships between. Uh, different strains of E. coli and different people's health because 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 like there's there's harmful E. coli and there's like not harmful E. coli I, I guess um, and they found out that there's all these strains that they never even knew existed and so they made this huge graph that I think is roughly what you're talking about like with fractals that is just like unbelievably complicated and so ridiculously cool looking like all these different points on this graph 
Oh my god, excuse me. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, that all like link... Oh, no. Nope, not doing that. Uh, that all link to these different points. It just... It, it, was, it was really neat looking. It was talked about a lot of other really crazy stuff in that in that show. Uh, it was on... I want to say it was Nova? It was like the things that live in us or something like that? Oh, God. It started off with something that I, I consider gross and horrible, which was uh, bot flies. Um, but then it went on to the microbes, which I was very happy about, because I hate bot flies, and uh, the microbes somehow just don't bother me that much. That is Leviathan, and I have no desire to, to be anywhere near it. Um, well, that's going to ruin the monk. Yeah, I don't... Um... Nope. Not doing that either. Hey, big guy, could you just, like, go away? Please? Maybe just a bit, for, like, a little while? <laughs> just, just, like, just a little bit. Like, you know, just go away, maybe? What are you disgusting? Like, to pretend they don't exist. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, but they talked to this entomologist who had gone to South America and got one of the larvae on him. Uh, and I, I will leave the rest unsaid because ew. But uh, so the rest of it was talking about like um, basically like our, our the, the, the microbes in our guts and like in all these other different places and how they, we've been discovering that like they actually serve different purposes. Like, um, oh, I, f I forget what the name of the this particular bacterium is. It's like something difficile, which is, it, you know, it's like difficult to treat, essentially. Okay, I don't want to do that. That's that's bad uh, going out there. Um, and how essentially prescribing lots of antibiotics may have been what sometimes causes people to have, like, these horrible stomach problems because it's killing all the things that are fighting off this particular bug. And so they talked to this woman who uh, was suffering from this particular, like, you know, basically an overflow of this particular bacterium. And um, they gave her a bowel transplant. Basically, they had her eat or swallow poop pills. <laughs> pills that have poop in them from somebody else with a healthy gut flora. I guess is how I would describe it. Um, and how that ends up, I think they said like 91% of the time, curing that particular illness. It's just, it's crazy. And I always thought that those kinds of transplants were done differently, not by swallowing pills. But, hey, <laughs> who am I to judge? Okay, yeah, there it goes. Well, the saint went up at least. Because we haven't speared anybody. But just, I, I love like the science stuff. Anyway, the <laughs> back to, back to back to rain world and fractals and stuff and math and not. Bleh. Although I guess some people would say that math is, bleh. but I disagree. Math is awesome. Actually, um, when I was in Portugal. There was a woman on the tour group who was a, uh, or I say was, is a, um, a missionary in Honduras. And uh, I have this shirt that says, the power of science compels you. And she asked me, hey, what's so great about science? And I said, well, you know, science gives us a lot of, like, really cool stuff. And I, you know, kind of went to explain what you would normally hear about science stuff. And she said, well, are you a scientist? And I was like, no, I'm just an accountant, which means I deal with math, which is, like, the basis of all science. So... And I don't think she was trying to be rude. She was just asking questions. Which is like, I don't know. I I like I like science things. Crap, that is not what I want. What I want is to not go in the water and get food. Like I want this fly. Come here. Come down. Down. You win this round, fly. You win this round. No jellyfish. Bad jellyfish. Oh. Leeches. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh, God, no. Ugh. No, 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 no. Am I in the right place? I don't know if I'm in the right place. Oh, jeez. Please, no. Please stop trying to make me be underwater. I don't want to be underwater right now. Oh, you stinky leech. Please go away. I just want you to leave me alone. Where'd he go? Oh, please don't tell me he's sitting in there. He is, isn't he? You bastard. He's sitting in that water. There he is. There he is. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. And hope that I find a hibernation spot so I can avoid this, this stinky leech. Is this doable? Wait a minute. There was a... Okay. <laughs> I think there was a hibernating spot there on the monk, and there is not one on anybody else. Because this is not easy mode. Uh, right, so th there were questions that were asked about the difficulty, etc. Um, and what the different characters are like. So the different characters in this... Well, uh, characters. The different... Oh my god. Get, get me out of this waterfall, please. Uh, the different... Slug hats do have different properties, aside from just like, a wait, that's the wrong way. No, leave me alone. Oh, am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Shit. Crap. I don't think I realized that there was not a connection there. So, for example, the monk. The monk. The monk, the monk, the monk. Wait, is the solution to just keep going in that section? I think the solution is just to keep going in that section. Uh, so the monk requires less food to eat, or it requires less food to survive during a day. Um, is less likely to attract the attention of predators. Although it also throws uh, with less force. And I want to say it doesn't jump quite as far, but I think that may be incorrect. Oh, I see you, Leviathan. I think I can make it. Ooh! Hmm? Man, I thought I just saw something change on the screen, but that is not the case. Uh... Okay, go. Away from the leeches. <sighs> what is going... Oh, no. I can't go that way. Shoot. What am I doing? Um, the hunter requires more food to survive. Um, oh, I missed him. And most types of food do not actually nourish him as much. So, like, these bats that I'm eating would only give him one quarter of a circle, which he's the only one that that happens to. Um, the hunter also has a limit on the number of days that he can survive. Like, his his time, his, his life is on a, an actual, like, time limit. Um, can I eat you, please? No? Well, then I'll just carry you with me. For now. Uh, so, the, the hunter actually has to hunt and kill predators and eat them. And he's the only one that can do it. Uh, in order to survive. Like, that's the best way for him to survive, I should say. There are a couple things that he can eat normally. Um, usually it's things that are, like, you know, made of meat. Do I want to go through that? I think I want to go through this. Yeah. And then, wait a minute. No? Do I want to go? I think I want to go over to the right there. Alright, well, I'm going to get that flower back because I want it. And it's going to allow us to... to <clears throat> oh my god, excuse me. It's going to allow us to live a little bit longer. Or not to live a little bit longer, but to keep our karma... Please get up. 
Thank you. Ah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to climb this and I'm going to read the chat message in more detail. Please get up. There we go. Uh, all right. I think I need to go this way. Yes. I believe this is correct. If one of you comes by, I'm going to grab you. Yes, I've grabbed you. Please don't harass me. Please leave me be. No, please. I would love to bring one of those dudes with me. I just don't think I can. Okay. Uh, so the hunter has a certain number of days to complete his mission, story, whatever. Yes, uh, he needs... His mission is, as far as I can tell, to bring one neuron to Moon. To Big Sister Moon. And neurons are like... Uh, how can I describe it? I'm not sure I really know exactly what they're supposed to be, to be completely forthright. Um, oh, so see these two blue dudes? How they look like the yellow iterator that had been following us around? Those are, uh, or not iterators, um, how they look like the overseers, uh, the, the yellow overseer that was following us around. The yellow overseer is the only one that Moon has left. These blue guys are from Five Pebbles. So Five Pebbles knows we're coming. He sees us. Uh, anyway, back back to the hunter, or the uh, so the iterators and neurons. When you first meet Big Sister Moon, she has I think like four neurons, and if you can talk to her, she sounds like I don't want to say savage, but she's clearly not altogether there. But if you bring her at least one more, she becomes lucid and understands, you know, like what's going on, uh, is able to like process the world around her and is not just terrified of everything. Um, okay, come on now. All right, I need to jump and get this food. Oh, okay, I got one. That's, that's fine. All right. Uh, but when you go, oh my god, when you go to Five Pebbles, he's got, like, hundreds or thousands of them. And they're like these little, maybe I should just try to go to Moon and see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. We won't be able to understand anything she says. And I also have no desire to eat one of her neurons because that does actually hurt her. And I don't want to hurt her. Wait, did I screw myself in terms of going to... This might be the path to Big Sis Moon instead of... Shaded Citadel. I mean, they're both relatively close. I know I can get to both from here, and the, the path that I want is this path. Like, I, I want to say if I go to the right, that, that's how I get to Big Sis Moon, I think. Eat this. No! Why now? No! Please go away. Please go away. Please go away. Oh. Yeah, go after the go after the 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 lobster frog. Please. No, not me. Help. 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 Help! Frogfish! Hello! Help me! No! Leave me alone, Birdman! Birdman, please! Uh, no! Up! 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 No! <laughs> Birdman, you butthole! <laughs> oh, Birdman, you scum. <sighs> so I, I guess the way I would put it is like the more neurons that an iterator has, the more cognitive ability they have, I suppose. But basically, what they the, the what they're trying to tell you is that Big Sis Moon is barely hanging on to sanity, whereas Five Pebbles, who 
basically not tried to kill her, but was not being a nice man. Um, he, he basically drained all of her water away, almost. Um, and water is what uh, allows iterators to function, I guess is how I would put it. Because one of the pearls that you can pick up in Gift of Moon, she tells you that uh, iterators... What is it? Something like they, 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 they drink a river a day, something like that, in water to basically keep their processes functioning. Uh, why can you just go back underground to escape the bird? I could, I just had to get back up to the tube. And at first I wanted to get, because the, the vultures move very fast by comparison. It's not that like their overall body movements are fast. They just have a ton of like, the, the, their limbs are huge. So they, they can move very, very quickly, very, very fast. Well, I basically just said they can move very fast, very fast. Come here. I need you. Thank you. Come with me, please, because you're going to get me to the other side very fast. And avoid bird complications. I know this is not exactly what you want, but it's got to happen right now. Now, <laughs> this may look like it would take forever to do. Uh, without a, a, a bird, uh, bird fish, without the uh, the lobster fish, and I'm here to tell you, that is exactly it. It would take forever. I have done that trip <laughs> without without a without a, a, a fish frog, and it does take forever, and it's terrifying because the second you see any enemies, it's like, well, I think I might be screwed, <laughs> but that's okay. So... Part of what this, this, uh, I almost called him, called him an iterator again. Uh, this overseer right here, this guy. See, okay, see, he's, that's Moon. That little, like, blue person, that's Moon. He's trying to tell us to go visit her. So, in, in the course of the normal game, this guy is basically the, the dude that tells you, in a roundabout way, what he's trying to get you to. Because he, he points you in different directions. And so there are people that their first time through... See, he's also saying, like, hey, the person with the weird stuff on their face is over this way. Uh, he... There, I've seen people that when they first encounter Moon, they see the neurons and they realize they can pick them up. And then they realize they can eat them. And they're like, oh, you brought me here to eat these. No. If you eat any of Moon's neurons, that overseer goes away forever. But you instead get a different, I don't want to call it a buff. Um, I wonder why we're not getting the cutscenes. Oh, because I have, oh, right, yep, in order to get the cutscenes, you actually have to use the ability to, to fast travel, right. Um, instead of having him point, point to the way for you, instead what happens is he he goes away and you get to see these like sp I don't I don't really know how to describe them they're like little wraiths almost these like little images that look like these mustached worms that are caught in these like bubbles and when you touch them they get released and they lead you towards the end of the game. And it's a totally valid way to play the game, too. Or to, 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 to finish the game. Like, there is no... I guess no good ending, I suppose? There's there's only just an ending. Um, but, in a way, I guess I would say that there is a good and bad ending, because... Like, you know what's happened in the game. Like, you know what, you, what you've done and what you haven't done. So, if you don't help Moon, and you actually hurt her uh, first off, you're a monster <laughs> uh, second you if you ever play through the game again then you know that you've harmed her and that you could have actually helped her so I suppose there's a like a good and bad ending in that, in that way but alright, let's take this and let's not screw up our jumps oh jeez no, 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 no. Get up. 
Get up, get up. Okay. okay. Now, Slugcat does also have some very sturdy feet. He doesn't, uh, he or she does not really succumb to fall damage very much. Uh, but if you fall a long enough distance, you will die. All right, you know what? I'm going to... No, no, no. I want this. So I'm going to put it in my face. Oh, never mind. I already had one. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to put this one in my face then. Store that for later. For future uh, scavenger encounters. Oh, no. Okay, that's not what I want. I want this. Okay, here we go. Oop. All right, so we're going to go visit Moon. So y'all can see what she looks like. <clears throat> and the, the state that she is in. Which is not good. Okay, please. Slug cat. Thank you. Yes, the hunter can carry an additional spear. Uh, which... and Thank you for reminding me about that, because I, I completely forgot. Uh, do we have time? Yeah, we, we totally have time. We don't need to rest. Oh, yes. The hunter also throws spears much harder. I think, like, he kills most lizards in one or two shots. Although the hunter also has a lot more to deal with. Okay, so here we go. Yep. So, those are neurons. I'm not going to grab one, because if I do, she will freak out and be very unhappy with me. But we do want to eat one of those when we get up to where Five Pebbles is. Which I'm hoping to do very soon. We might be able to get there by the end of the stream, maybe? I don't know. Getting the Five Pebbles is not easy. Okay, so now he's telling us some other stuff. Yeah, see, he's showing us more neurons. And they're in a completely different place. So he's like, you got to bring one to her. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That way we can understand what she says. Get eaten. Okay. I just have to remember exactly how it is that we get to the... Shaded Citadel from here. And it, 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 I should note, there are multiple ways to get to where you have to go. She has five. Uh, I believe if you play as the Hunter, she has four. Because one of those is actually from the Hunter. The Hunter story is supposed to take place before the Survivor, if I recall correctly. And uh, this this part is my speculation. I think that part of the reason that that's the case is that the devs wanted to uh, give you the idea that the slug cats are not actually maybe native to this world, that they are actually created by the iterators. And maybe, like, let loose upon the world. Not that they're an invasive species or anything, even though I guess technically they are, because they fit into the ecosystem. Here we go. Okay, so this is the little image cutscene that you get uh, when you do not hurt Moon by taking a neuron. If you do take one, the image you get is a little darker. Like, she's laying on the ground and it looks like there's blood coming out somewhere and, like, she's just looking generally terrified and just not happy at all. Actually, I'm not sure that we're going to get to five pebbles. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try at least. But it's going to take a little bit to even get through the Shaded Citadel. Because that place... Basically, past this point, the game gets a lot harder. <laughs> the enemies that you run into are vicious and horrible. 
Like, camo lizards are probably one of the more nasty ones. Um, they're basically lizards that try to make themselves invisible and then have humongous tongues that they grab you with. Uh, the cysts also. Or in the game files, they're actually called uh, daddy long legs. Uh, let's see what other nasties are there. I don't think there's quite as many scavengers. No, the, sca the scavengers, I, I don't really think I would consider them enemies because you can make them allies a little bit easier than you can make, say, lizards allies. And when you befriend one scavenger, the entire tribe becomes your your friend, essentially. Not every tribe, just, just the one. Alright, making this trek is going to be a damn nightmare. Maybe. Sometimes it goes okay. Other times it's horrible. But I think we're early enough in the day that we're not going to have problems. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I think we're already close enough to the shoreline. Or it's not going to be too bad. The only problem is now I actually have to remember how the heck to get to where it is that we need to go. Please don't. Just leave me alone. Nope, you're not going to leave me alone, are you? These guys, these guys, are the things that make it very, very difficult to bring a neuron to Big Sis Moon because they will harass you to the ends of the Earth. On a completely unrelated note, does anyone know why seemingly random parts of my sky in Dark Souls 3 are either orange or not orange after you beat the first three Lords of Cinder and get back to the high wall? Uh, did you see the dark sign? Because I think that may be part of it. The the moon sun thing gets gets crazy. Wait. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I wanna go through here, don't I? I think I want to go through here. But doing that may not be easy. I think I might actually have to get myself one of those jetfish. Oh, water. Delicious water. Ah, okay, so we only ate meat yesterday. Prep. Eh, should I bother trying to eat only meat today? I don't think so. This guy's orange in some places where in my Assassin's game it's relatively peaceful yellow. That's strange. Is it in specific areas? Oh, by the way, um... I'm hoping to try to get a little bit of footage from the Dark Souls Remastered Network Test recorded this Friday. Um, because if I'm right, the Network Test is going on Friday and Saturday. Oh, I hear the combat music already. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to see, or I'll be able to show you guys at least what it looks like on PS4. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, you stinky leeches. I hate you. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go up, get myself a jetfish, bring it back down, and then try to accomplish our goals. Damn, dude. That, that's that's poop. Unless I, can, unless I can attract a jetfish here by tossing a fruit in the water. At least our karma flowers right here. Heh. That is very strange, MK. I, I don't know what the heck causes that. All right, let's go up and see if we can get ourselves a jetfish. Because I, I think I'm going to need one to bypass these leeches. 
Then again, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get one down here. Hmm. Maybe I should just wait? Damn, I don't know about that. Hang on, let me check my map. Is there another way to do this? I don't think so. No. Not really. No, I don't think there is. Uh, oh, this leech placement is uh, real bad. Are, are you at different stages of the game with those two characters? Oh, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can... Ah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get one up here, huh? In that case, in that case, I will grab some food and try to wait out the leeches by hibernating and hope that they'll be gone tomorrow or next cycle. Which I'm really not sure if it's like... Since you have to hibernate... And they refer to it as hibernating. It must be a much longer period than just like one day to the other. Unless the days here are incredibly long. I'm guessing you have to wait out like an entire season. However long that is in this world. And you stinky leeches. Okay, I was going to say, I shouldn't have gotten anything towards the chieftain. Why did I get any of that? And I didn't. I was just, uh, I guess not paying as much attention as, as I should have. Okay. Eat that mango. Bug pupa. Man, I don't like this. Wait. They disappeared for a moment. There's nobody here. Shoot. I don't know if they're going to be on the other side. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Okay, we've done it. Uh, one where most of the map has my assassin in the uh, various Lothar Castle and Crucifixion Woods, yellow, top of Farron Keep, where the stray demon was, very light yellow, and even blue sky in places, undead settlement, Cathedral of the Deep, and high wall, damn near red. That is just so freaking weird. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Okay, we made it past. That's good. Although I don't actually recall where this goes, which is not good. Uh, I think this is a way that leads us to where I want to be think. If not, I will be sad. I did see... There they are. Please don't be mad at me. Oh, I've grabbed one. I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was eat this. Please don't. Fish! Fish! Fishy! I am not the solution to your problems. Mm. Sometimes there's a camel lizard in here. Sometimes. How the hell do you get over there? Oh, you have to go through there. Okay, I see. I see. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You zapped me. Okay. Please stop zapping that fish. I would actually like to make use of him, if at all possible. Okay. Are you awake?
Where is it? I know there's little, like, robo-arms down here. Get back up. Quick! The reason I want the robo-arm is because it unlocks stuff in the arena mode. No? What, do I have to come down here as a hunter? Oh, Jesus. Well, that's a kick in the in the in the stuff. Is there another one over here? Oh, you bastard! You, you're kidding. You you lit up. I saw it. No. Urgh. All right. Well, see you later, fish. Oh. Um, this is not good. Uh, shoot. Although, is it possible that I... No, there's no way I can drag that fish up here. Wait, that goes up? I thought it went across. Oh no! Oh, camo lizard, you scum. That's why I hate camo lizards. That's why everybody... <gasps> that is... a very pink pearl that I have never seen before. Alright, so at least we know that that direction is probably no good. So I gotta go back. So this is one of those things about Rain World, like, <laughs> well, Rain World in, in context of my, of my horrible memory is, uh, <clears throat> I have a horrible memory for directions, but for whatever reason I can remember a lot of the lore of the game. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it makes sense and it doesn't. Now I'll tell you what, it's very frustrating. So we definitely want to go to the left. I hear the combat music. Wait. No. We need to take a jetfish. Need a jetfish. Oh, no. Go away. Shove off. Okay, we're going to wait him out. I'm going to drink some water while we're waiting. Because, uh, screw him. He may perhaps be gone. Ish. Frick. <laughs> Alright, well. Guess we're just gonna try to make it past the leeches without uh, assistance of the jetfish variety, which is practically suicide because leeches are horrible! Horrible monsters! Horrible monsters! Monsters! Get down! Into the hole! Jesus. Well, that's a loss of karma. Yep. Shit. I don't want to rest again just to get the karma back. No. No, that feels cheap if I do that. Maybe not cheap. Semi necessary. Actually, I guess it's not terribly necessary at the moment. Yeah, you know what? Do I? I think I might actually have a map of this place somewhere here. Maybe. Should comp. Yeah. Okay. I, I do have a map. 
Shoreline. Show me your map -ish -ness. Please? Okay. Where am I right now? Oh, this map is not helpful. Please load. Alright, this thing is not helping me. <laughs> Probably because I need to reload the page really bad. Hey. Open. Yes, your detailed region maps. I get it. Please show me. Show me the way. Oh, I see it. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh... I say that it's unfortunate because, uh, oh, I'm going to have to do a lot of swimming. That's more leeches. I don't want more leeches. I want that fruit so I can attract myself a fish. A jetfish. Jetfish? Maybe? Somewhere? No? All right, I'm just going to have to try to get by, I suppose. I know, you're pointing me towards neurons and stuff. I get it. So oh my god, these leeches don't actually, like, get me. Nope. Shove off. Oh, Jesus, no. Get in the thing. Get in the thing. Oh, leeches, I hate you. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. Leeches are, like, my worst enemy in these games. Or, yeah, in these games. In this game. You know, get rid of that spear. You're not going to need it anyway. What we really need is a jetfish. Which means I can grab this and possibly lure one over. I believe we will have enough karma to get to... Should it Citadel? Yeah, right now we do have enough. I just have to make sure I don't die more. Hello? Thank you. Jetfish. I would like for you to come and say hello. Come on. I'm here waiting for you. Yes, come to me, please. Come on. Come here. Come here. Yes, okay, here we go. Disaster averted. We have a jetfish. All's right with the world. Maybe. I think I just heard combat music, which makes me very nervous. Oh, Jesus. No, come on. <laughs> no, come on, dude. Cooperate with me here. Jesus. Oh, my lord. Okay, you know what? There, go. Be on your way. Okay. Wait a minute. Is it? The wrong goddamn place. This is the wrong goddamn place. Yep. That's not what I wanted. Right? No. No, it is not. No, it is not. Okay, well. There's uh, more than one way to do this. We're not totally boned. I just didn't go far enough over. Which means I have to figure out how to get this monster kelp to stop being a jerk. Like that. Okay, good. Get me out of here. I 
I can go this way, right? <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Ooh. Get past the jellies. Oh, also get past the leeches. No. No, 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 no. Get off me. Piss off, leeches. Piss off. Oh. Well, um, please tell me there's a spear here. Yes, thank God. Okay. Alright, so we gotta go back to where we were. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay, you know what? Just get to a hibernation spot. And then we'll take off from there. Okay, he is pointing us towards the neurons now, which is great. Like, he actually has a little neuron symbol -y thing. Please. Hello. Alright, let me take a look at this really quick. Why did we get points towards the chieftain? Chieftain is the achievement that you get for giving neurons to the... Or not neurons. Um, giving stuff that the scavengers find valuable to the scavengers. Okay, so I think we want to go... What is it? Up the middle one? Yeah. We want to go up the middle one. But first... Food. Eat him, please. Thank you. Eat that. Good job. Take a spear. Lord knows you're going to need it. And then prepare for the longest swim of your life. Or what's going to feel like the longest swim of your life. Thank you. You leave me the hell alone, you stinky lizard. Well, okay, that screen transition doesn't work. Uh. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad you fell in the water. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Okay, go. Thank you. Uh, is this the hole that we want to go in? I want to say yes. I don't know if this is... is ah! A useful path. Shit. Okay, there we go. Go. I think this gets us to where we want to be. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Didn't mean to, like, land on your face. We do need one more food, so let's drop this in here. Grab it. And eat. This is probably the most nerve-wracking part of this. Okay, you've got your breath, yes? Okay, you're not... You're not. When, when Slick Hat's eyes are closed, he's trying to get his breath. Okay, and this jump is always freaking terrible. Okay, we made it. Wait a minute. Am I in the wrong freaking place? Am I in the wrong freaking place? What did I do? 
What did I do? I don't know what I did. What have I done? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think if I had just come this way the first time, I think it would have been fine, right? Because this just goes right back to where I thought, yeah, okay, well, fantastic. It, it, this, you know, one thing you can say about this game is very in interconnected. <laughs> Yeah, the way they did the map is very cool. It's like, uh, let me see if I can do it here. I forget which button it is. Oh, there it is. You press different buttons and it goes to different layers. And the maps are very interconnected. Uh, and each zone connects to many other zones. Okay, I don't think I want to go through this left passage, right? No, what I want to do is keep going right when I get up here. I think. Right? Yes? Yes. This is what we want. Just not those leeches. Oh, no. No, no, no. I said not the leeches. Not the leeches. Not the leeches. Bypass leeches. Okay, no leech. Okay, now I, I will admit, <laughs> Shaded Citadel has killed me on the journey to it many times. Oh. Yeah, no, kelp. I'm not going to mess with you. We're full on food? Good. Okay. How much time do we have? We got plenty of time. Drop that. Get yourself a bug pupa. And another one. Okay. Oh, good. We also have a popcorn plant. So if I can drop myself a... Sp well, am I going to really bother with that? No, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm not going to bother trying to go and grab a spear. Well, we should have plenty of food anyway. Actually, wait, can I just make it through the other side? No, don't do that yet. Stay on this side. Get your karma back. Let's not rush ourselves. So, those, like, slug cat looking spirits in the background, I think, look a lot like the little wraiths that you can see kind of stuck in bubbles if you eat a neuron. A little bit. And I, I, I personally think that the ending of the game kind of bears out my, my speculation slash opinion. But, obviously, I really don't know for sure because I've never talked to the devs about it. <laughs> And I'm not sure that they would actually tell tell you or tell us one way or the other if you know we were correct or not. Uh, did I just bypass something? No. Okay. I thought maybe I bypassed a uh, scavenger merchant or scavenger hold. Okay. No need to use up the popcorn plant. Uh, now, if I have a lantern or not a lantern, if I have a pearl, do I have a pearl? I do. Okay. So let's get a move on. Is this... Wait. Oh, okay. This, this is totally fine. I was like, wait a minute. Is it supposed to be the way around where, like, the water comes down on the other side and the steam goes there? Or... I don't remember. Not that it matters. It's, it doesn't hurt you either way. Uh, so here's the question. Do I want to... I think I want to hibernate on this side. We'll just save it because it's going to save us time. So, at the end of the game, I'm hoping to be able to show this on the stream at some point, instead of... Because I, even though I've done... I, I've basically completed the game, like... Four times? Five times? I think I've completed the game f four? 
Yeah, I think I've completed the game four times. Once as the hunter, once as the monk, and twice as the survivor. Uh, I would still like to get to the end of the game on stream at some point. But essentially what you see is like all these little wraiths swimming towards something. You have no idea what. Uh, and at the end of the game, well, you know what? I, I feel like I shouldn't say exactly what it is that you see. I think I, I just let it kind of be seen instead of trying to explain it. Because for one, I'm probably not going to explain it very well. Oh, two pearls. Thank you. Yep. We're giving this to the to the dudes. Yep. That's going to happen. Because they are going to give us stuff. If I can get there without falling to my death. Eat this karma flower to lock in your karma, please. Now, if I remember right, close to here is where we can first er, encounter our first uh, echo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but our karma is not exactly high enough to see it. So we would have to come back here another time. Not that, the, ah, not that that's a bad thing. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't tell me I'm fucked. Oh, I might be fucked. It does. It does involve a lot of swimming. I am... Oh! I am ashamed to admit that has killed me more often than everything else. In the Shaded Citadel. <laughs> My own... Badness at platforming has killed me more times than anything else. Well, mm, is that true? Then again, I don't know if, that, if that's true. Because the... The Coalescipedes and the, the Shadow Spiders have certainly killed me a, a lot of times. Gravity is always the hardest boss. <laughs> Always, always, always. I think we're just going to keep these two. I want to make sure that the scavengers aren't going to be angry and try to kill us. All right, now don't rush. If you rush, you die. Okay. That's that. Don't rush. Oh, you put the flower in like the worst possible place. Okay, we got it. I will get another Karma Flower at some point. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we've made it. Oh, you have lanterns. Thank God. All right, here. Give me the lantern. I don't care about the spears. Give me the lantern. No, not that. Excuse you. I am your king. Please do not assault me. I have a lantern. I'm now happy. Please leave me alone. Yeah, see, the scavengers don't really like our little dude. <sighs> okay, this is one of the scavenger strongholds. Or uh, scavenger merchants. However, did you... You grabbed the eyeball, didn't you? Well, so be it. That's how it has to be. Alright, so... This is the Shaded Citadel. One of the more horrible places in this game. Because it's extremely difficult to see what the hell's going on. That also makes it very difficult to get around. There's usually a lot of map checking that has to happen. And I have to say, this place is a lot easier when you have specific items. Or uh, specific things... I can I put this? When you've done specific things, the game is much easier in this area. I 
think we just want to go down. Yep, we just want to go down so that we can get to that hibernation spot. Because we want to save our progress and not have to do that godforsaken climb again. Or jump. Oh my god, no! Oh, it's Cola Speed. No, 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 Boy, do I hate you. Yeah, it's basically just a horde of little shadow spiders that all turn into a giant centipede of death. The, honestly, I think this game has some of the best like horror elements of a lot of games that I've, I've played. <laughs> and not just for me, because of the spiders. But like... Some of the, the crazy creatures that they came up with are just, like, really... It, I mean, them in combination with the music. Which, by the way, the music in this game is awesome. Uh, at least I think it is anyway. Okay. Ha! Ah. Alright. Uh, like... Oh, Jesus! When we, when we get to five pebbles, I think you'll see what I mean. Because, like, the... The crazy, like... I don't want to call it horror music, but that is essentially what it is. Oh, come on. Please don't tell me they took all the lanterns and don't have one for me to, to buy. I'll be very upset. Can I, can I get down? <gasps> there he is. Thank God. Hey, buddy. Thanks. I'll take these. No, not that. I want this. And I want this. This little blue thing will save us from the Coalesce speed. Oh, the... <laughs> uh, I have issues with the idea of drowning, so even the basic gameplay is a problem for... Oh, yeah. Well... I don't want to say that I have, like, a, I mean, drowning is definitely a, a fear that I have. But it's not as bad as, say, my fear of spiders. My fear of spiders is, like, why am I having this weird thing happening with my jumps? This is so strange. Uh, my fear of spiders is, like, a horrible visceral gut reaction that I really cannot control. I, I, I suppose it's not really for me, like, the, a fear of drowning as much as it is like a fear of deep water and the unknown of what's in it, I guess is how I would describe it. Um, but drowning is certainly not something that my brain handles well. <laughs> in, in games, drown... Oh, Jesus Christ. In games, drowning to me isn't so bad. But like, what's a good example here? If either of you ever played the original Half-Life, the, uh... I forget what the hell they called them. It was like a big alien fish. With, like, these huge jaws. Please, no. Is that what I think it... <laughs> It didn't work because I didn't throw it far enough. Or I, th I threw it too far. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you split? Are you no longer a thing? I... Oh, Jesus. What am I going to do? Throw a brick at it? I guess so. When in doubt, throw a brick at the giant, horrible, massive spiders. <sighs> Did you take it? You took the thing? Trying to stuff yourself in there? Okay, good. I'm out of here. See ya. Oh, Jesus. Get me the hell out of here. Ah! 
back. <laughs> Get me out. Out, 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 out. Holy hell. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Go, 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 go. Okay, to the left. Left, 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 left. All right, get out of here. Run, run, run. Pick up a thing to throw at possible spooter things. There it is. Please. No. No mole lizards. Okay, we've made it. Oh. <sighs> but, uh, so, the way that they've done some of the sound design in the game for some of the monsters is, like, you can hear them coming <laughs> before they show up, and it's, uh, I, I can totally understand that, MK, I can absolutely understand that. <laughs> It, honestly, for a long time, I didn't know if I was going to be able to play the game. But I think my interest in the premise is what kept me going. If that if that makes any sense. Um, because, like, when I talked to uh, my friend... I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost said her real name, which would be rude and not, not okay. Uh, Lucky, we'll call her. Uh, and I asked if her and her husband had watched me play at all, and she said no, because you're playing a cat that, like, gets horribly murdered by horrible... Oh, by horrible vicious predators. And I said, you know... The, oh! No! <laughs> I said, you know, you know what? That totally makes sense. That totally makes sense. And if that makes you uncomfortable enough to not want to watch, I totally get that. I mean, thankfully, they don't make it, like, horrendously gruesome. If they did, or they, like, put sound on what Slugcat does, I think I would have a huge problem playing the game. Like, as in, I just don't think I would be able to. That food. Yeah, I, I really think that if they hadn't handled it in the way that they did, I would have a big problem with this game. No! Oh, I hate you, you stupid kelp. It is canonically called uh, Slug Cat. Though the reasoning is maybe. The reasoning maybe makes it not as, uh, as, like, canonical, I suppose. When they were first, oh, damn it. When they first did, um, like, not, not beta tests, but, uh, like, when they were, where the hell did that brick go? There it is. When they were first doing, I suppose, like, you know what, I'm gonna get more food later. I'm not gonna bother with this, because this is just getting me killed. When they were first doing stuff with the game, there we go. Uh, this dude, Pudgy Ferret. <laughs> I suppose Pudgy Ferret is also a totally valid name. <laughs> oh my God, Pudgy ah! Pudgy Ferret. Um. This dude just kept coming to the the YouTube channel and and just saying slug cat. Hey, listen, you stinky kelp. Piss off. He's still there. I see him. No, 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 no,
So that, that is how the slug cat came to be. Also, uh, uh, apparently this was not supposed to be the original protagonist. If you can call him that. Uh, the original protagonist. Um, this was just the model that uh, uh, George Jacobson, the guy who originally had the idea for the game and who started making it, uh, this is just the model that he used because they wanted to have like a cute protagonist. And originally the game, the game's name was going to be Maze Runner. And it was like different. The, the only enemies were going to be the, the lizards and there wasn't going to be like this big story. It was basically just going to be a platformer. Uh, but I guess they just kind of decided on Slugcat. And I'm kind of happy they did because Slugcat is great. All right. There's a way to do this, God damn it! Oh, you fucker. Okay. We've got the spear in the wall. God damn it. Okay, get another spear. Go on about your business. I don't remember if I can get down here. I can. Good. All right. Thankfully, they give you a lot of spears here, so you can do a lot of wall sticking. Damn it. Crap. Give me another one. To the side, get your breath, and go. That was probably a mistake. <laughs> Shit. All right, get your breath. Get down. Get yourself another spear. Oh, no. You dropped the thing. Okay. You got it? Good job. All right. I don't know if there's any more spears down here. There should be, I think. I've kind of wasted them in this part. Shit. How much time do we have? Okay, we've got plenty of time. I, I think I need another spear. Yeah, so let's find one. Hopefully, maybe, somewhere. Down here, maybe? Yes, okay, good. There's a couple of puzzles, well, maybe not puzzles, but there's a couple parts like this in the game. Uh, this is the only one that I think is actually necessary for you to do the spear thing. Um, but there are a couple places where you can use spears to, like, really help with your climbing. Shit. <laughs> Jesus. This is actually one of the better ones, I think. Put that down. Okay. I made a mistake. Let's go back. Get our lantern. So we're going to need it. Alright, eat this. Please. Thank you. Eat this. Thank you. But uh, it, it, in terms of, like, if Slugcat is a canonical name, they actually call him Slugcat, or, or her, I suppose, uh, in the uh, in the trailer for the game. I think the name of the trailer is, like, What Fate a Slugcat or something like that. It's, it's, it's on Steam. Ah. We need food real bad. And if we get screwed on how much time we get in the next day, we're going to be very, very unhappy. Slugcat appears to be flailing around a lot. Um, the controls are... I don't have a problem with them. I know there are some people that do. Oh, this is not a long day. Uh, Slugcat ends up flailing around a lot because of the way that they do the animation. Um, 
Because each animal in this game is basically like a blob of physics. Oh. Okay, here we go. This is what I want. Take this. It's not going to help against things that are outside, but at least, uh, at least it'll make you feel better for a little bit. I don't think we can do this in the time that is allotted because I'm going to screw this up a lot. So the controls, there's a lot of tricks you can pull. So there's like, there's complexity to the controls, but it's not necessary complexity. Like the most complex things you need to know are how to jump, pick up, throw things, and how to do the extended jump, which is you just get down, hold down the jump button, and then release. This is what I was talking about with that, the whole thing, you know, with uh, enemies that you can hear before they show up. That's these things. These godforsaken scissor birds. I think they're actually called, like, mirror birds. But they move around at herds, and they are weirdly biomechanical looking. Oh, crap. Let me see if I can get some light on one of them. See, they have, like, weird piston legs. But they are biological. Oh, Jesus. Please keep going. Do not come back. No, stay there. That's fine. Stick your head in that in that hole. That's fine. Okay, get one of these. I'm taking one of these because they are basically like flashbangs. They will blind the birds if we're out in the open. And unable to avoid them. Oh, my lord. Please leave. No, don't. Don't be hacky choppy at me. Yeah, go away. Keep going. Okay. Let's move. Now, I'm really only moving below ground here because I want to avoid the birds. And one of the coolest things about this game is that it, it actually functions like a real ecosystem in a way. Like, I don't want to say that it's, you know, it's, oh, it's exactly like a real ecosystem, but uh, they actually do their best to um, kind of imitate an ecosystem. So there are places where those birds will show up in uh, uh, later in the game. And this is true of everything. Everything in this game eats something else. Except for, like, I guess the lower prey items. Oh, shit. Okay, we made it. Uh, so, like, the bats and the jellyfish don't eat anything that's present in the game as, like, an actual... Oh, my God! You son of a bitch. Oh, man, that reflex. <laughs> uh, you know what? Climb out in the open, because you're going to need a motor. Like, this... this Being in the... In the holes thing is for the bird... Okay, never mind. I can't actually do that. Uh, so, here we go. Through here. Trying very hard not to uh, get stuck. And dead. Go away, go away, go away. Thank you. So, uh, what I was trying to say is, like, those birds will eat the centipedes, the giant centipedes that you find in certain places in the game. Um, much like the some of the lizards will as well. Please keep moving. See? He's got one in his mouth. That's actually really bad because we need that to survive. Because we are low on food. 
and the place that we're trying to get to doesn't really have much in the way of food. Although it might have just enough to save our asses, maybe. Please no. Please get out. Okay, here we go. Please have a centipede in here somewhere. Just a little tiny one. No. Shit. Well, we're going to have to try to find food when we get to our destination, I suppose. You need to go away. You have, a, you have a centipede in your mouth. I can't help but notice. Yeah, you got a centipede in your mouth, which uh, is bad. Very bad. For me. <laughs> it's bad for me. Unless there's a centipede out here somewhere that I can consume. Um, okay, we want the first one. Right? This part always screws me up. <gasps> There's one! Eat it! Quick! Thank God. Okay, we're part of the way there. We're part of the way they're not dying. When we try to sleep. Open, 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 open. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Open, 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 open. Please. Please open. Faster, please. Faster, please, faster, please, faster, please. Thank you. We need just, like, one more piece of food. And then we're fine. I don't really need the lantern anymore, but we are going to stash it in this hibernation spot if we can get to it. Without getting killed. Or starving to death. Okay. I see the food. Alright. I do want to note that flailing that you just saw was... That was intentional. Because if you get enough momentum, it allows you to kind of slingshot your... Well, maybe not slingshot yourself, but it allows you to fling yourself a bit more to one side or the other. Okay, we just barely survived. That is one of the more difficult treks in the game. In terms of, like, you need to get there in a specific amount of time, not die, <laughs> and have enough food to live. Because there's a lot of other places that are, like festooned with predators but have a lot of food like uh, Sky Islands is one of them thank you um, Sky Islands is one of the ones that's uh, Sky Islands? yeah Sky Islands is one of the ones that's festooned with predators oh my god of course it's a shorter day uh, but is why do I have the map revealed already I don't understand that's not the way it used to be I, although my guess is that it's because I finished the game already so it's just kind of saying, like, hey, you've already finished the game. You know where all this stuff is. I know you started a new file, but hey, like. Okay, that is actually a platform that I can jump on. Yeah, so Skylands, it's got a lot of food. Got a lot of things that want to eat you. Kind of the same with the farmer rays, I guess I'd say. Although, I, I don't know, is farmer rays really all that full of food? I'm not really 100% positive on that. Because I think I've had situations where I starved to death in farmer rays. Oh, alright, never mind. I was going to say, I might want to turn up the music a little bit so you guys can hear it, but I can't do that from here. Maybe we'll do that for the next time. Oh, shit! Nope. Miss. Miss again. See you later. Oh, you fucker. 
Okay, get the spear. Oh, I didn't stab him. Shit. Oh, God. No! Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Camel lizards. Camel lizards are dicks. They're also kind of weak, though. Usually if you spear them once, they try to get away from you. Although there are some, there are some, that just get mad and try to eat you even more. They, like, some of the, some of the uh, creatures will actually just get, like, annoyed with you and try to kill you. Like, um, earlier in the stream, that squid cicada that I hang on, uh, that I hung on to, to jump across the pits with the leeches, they will actually get mad if you hold on to them for too long and try to, like, knock you off of stuff and just, like, slam themselves into you to try to knock you down and, uh, and damage you in, in ways like that. Um, although I think they're one of the only ones that actually gets, like, super mad. Although there there are centipedes that... I don't know, the centipedes sometimes strike me as being mad at you for some reason or another. Like, I think if you eat their the little ones, then the big ones just will always try to murder you. I have this... thinking that maybe I need that spear. It's over on the left. But then again, maybe not. I see you. Yeah, I see you. Hoping I won't trigger you over here. If I can just, like, sneak my way through. See that irregular lump on the right side that keeps moving? That is the camo lizard. <sighs> Go away. See, he's revealed himself. Go away. Yeah, open your mouth all you want. Just don't come over here. Just leave me the hell alone. Okay. What the hell is that? <gasps> it's Karma Flower. Oh my god. I, I, I definitely think that they've made the spawn of Karma Flowers more regular. Uh, and when I say that, I mean like... Um, if you've eaten one... And then you die. They've made them spawn in the place where you died more frequently. It didn't always used to be like that. Sometimes, at least in my experience, it wasn't always like that. Ah, oh, jeez. I think maybe this is the one I need. Just not the one over, because that is a horrible monster that will try to consume my flesh. Okay. Now, I think there's another camel lizard up here somewhere. There usually is, from what I recall. Yep, there he is. I don't know how I'm going to try to handle this, but we're going to do something. I can't tell if he's still coming. Shoot. Damn it, he's probably hiding up there. Oh! Careful on yourself now. Don't, don't be... Don't be looking away too much. He's gonna try to snag me from here, isn't he? There he is. There we go. Okay, speared ourselves a lizard. Oh no. You gotta be kidding. Go away. No. No. Okay, good, you fell. <laughs> Goodbye. Please continue having trouble moving. And get me the hell out of here. Okay. All 
All right, so this is one of the other weird little critters in the game. <laughs> this, uh, this tongue worm thing. But it is excellent and performs a very necessary function in this area. As in, it, le it actually lets us get around. Uh, this is not the pathway that I want, is it? No, it is not. It, it is actually one of the cooler critters in this game. I mean, it may not look like much, but it is, it is freaking great. Uh, this is not where I want to be, is it? Not really. Shit. <gasps> that is a cyst. That is a cyst. Or daddy long legs. They are blind. But they hear a lot. So moving around and jumping all over the place tends to be very bad when they're around. <sighs> oh shit, I fucked up. Okay, just go fast. Go fast. Oh, come on now. Please, no camel lizards up in this place. Oh, get off my food, please. No, not that. I need you. Grab something else. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, come on now. Slug cat, cooperate with me. Jesus. <laughs> That's not cooperating, buddy. Okay, that is... You know what? We've got food. Just hibernate. Get over with. Oh. Oh my god, it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh. Alright, guys. I'm going to call it for the night. I hope you enjoyed our first, like, real official stream on Twitch. Uh, more to come, certainly. And, uh, yeah. Praise the sun, etc. I will catch you all next week on Monday and Tuesday, hopefully. And, um, hope you have a good night. And I'll see you all later. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.